Good morning, YouTube. It's finally here. You ready? Now this is a goodie for you guys. It's finally here. Car Q and I. We finally spectated each other playing each other's role. Now this got pretty educational pretty fast. It was originally supposed to be a more lighthearted roast, but Car Q actually was very interested in seeing the game from my POV and teaching him how to play main tank. Because I've always said this, main tanks play the game completely differently than every other role. Every other role has some similarities. Main tanks do not have any similarities with almost any other role. So I present to you a in-depth look into my brain, onto a barely plat player brain, and telling them and showing them exactly how I would play out certain situations and how they should react accordingly. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and share it with a friend. This series has been really fun to do. There's actually already a part two to this. It's already been shot. Well, it's not really the same video. It's We did a different map, uh, a King's Row game, which... <sighs> I'll show you that some other time. But I've actually really enjoyed doing this so far, so let me know if you enjoy this as well. And we'll keep on doing it until we, you know, we climb that ladder, both of us. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed this series. And as well as subscribe to my second channel, Flats 2, where some of the videos that wouldn't exactly make it here from this series, uh, some of the Ana games, end up over there. So go check that out as well. That's it for me, guys. Appreciate you guys as always. And I'll catch you again tomorrow. Educational okay. roast. Yeah, well, at least Educational one of roast. Duty title for that. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, that's actually a better title. <laughs> Educational roast. That's good. Use Educational roast. Words. Retro, write that down. Write that down. Welcome in to the educational roasting of Car Q, otherwise known as Q Rack, the Reinhardt here. Uh, we actually just did the Ana version where Car Q actually educationally roasted mine. Mine was too good to really roast, so he kind of like he just had to give like nice tips. So if you want to see that, go to his channel. His second channel, actually, it's uh, Carchives, right? Car Q Archives, yes, sir. Car Q Archives, Carchives. Not his main channel, but Car Q Archives, Carchives. I'm sure we can like link it in the description or something like that. So this game is about as scuffed for the main tank as that glitched fire strike in the spawn room. Um, this was awful, terrible, and I can't wait to roast it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'll let you. You tell me what to do. Okay. Flats is good at roasting. I'm t I suck at roasting. Yeah. I'm just... So first off, he passed terribly. Enemy. He's trying to go with the left door on on this map when they're holding close. So they're gonna have a may every time. You're just gonna get May right. and dead. I thought about left. I wasn't thinking yet, but I went right. I still made the right decision. Yeah, well, he went Come right because I told you go right. Then, then you see that the May gets gets forced out. Instead of playing aggressive, you sit here, get May walled. Or your supports have to play up. You're an alt battery, and look at their alt charge. <laughs> Roast chickens popping off, dude. He's about to have a whole four course meal. We're at, and you got to roast Flip like a turkey. Dude, roast chicken's already got a shatter, dude. It's one, that almost tied my record of fastest shatter. What are you doing? Oh, okay. It so was this, so fast. I did not expect to have it here. So you're going to get rolled here, right? And after you get rolled, I'm going to nano you, right? So when you get nanoed, pause, pause. When you get nanoed, you're supposed to get aggressive, right? But because, and this is a common problem, when you get hardcore MTD out of the gate, your mind is like, I need to force this Ryan out. He's gonna force he's gonna hurt my team. But you have nano. You have nano. You kill the squishies, not the Rhine. Go for everything else. So it let this roll in slow-mo real quick. Let it roll. When, when did it, I get nanoed here? Okay, you're, this is where you're still standing, so that's a little too far back. You gotta get yep, boom. It gets right. Uh-huh. You stand here up. It comes. I think you just let you it roll. Nano, you nailed me here. So and then right I was the first swing, up. once you figure it out, you've already gone too far backwards, but you start. You should start to look like there's a Baptiste on the left that's so close. This Ana's coming in to give you a little kiss, you know, like go after something. Even the Zarya. Zarya is a great target to walk on Nanode because she's trying to preserve her energy, but she doesn't understand that how much damage you'll do so fast. So you survive here, right? The reason you survive, and I know you're like, in your mind, you're like, I'm so low, I'm so low. 
Who cares? Once you have the nano, you're no longer a main tank. You are a wrecking ball machine. And you must go in and start killing things. But instead, it takes so long. And you end up getting the kill on the Rhine, not because you could get a kill on him, but he actually, he was, he was anti. But that was not the target you go for. You can let it roll now. <laughs> we wind up flipping this fight. And it's good to shield off the Zarya, but also the Ana. The Ana's the big one. Shield off the Ana from the nade. Boom. But realistically, oh, during the nano, you just, you just, you don't care about anything else. You just hold W and just try to kill anything that moves. Because if you sit okay. there, if you sit there and AFK shield, you're just a bot. Right? Like, you don't do anything. Like, even if you die, right? If you die, but you got a swing or two off, they're all so low that we can typically capitalize on it. You know what I mean? So, like, right here, this is, like, not bad. Like, swinging on the Ryan, killing him. Yeah, he's way too far ahead of his team. I'd go get the Ash. I, I think it's kind of like, you know, move a little bit so it's to not get going after the Ash, you know? I would okay. choose, I would keep chasing her because the worst that can happen, especially with your shield, right? Uh, the worst that can happen, pause for like one sec. With your shield. Great, great director here. The thing uh -huh. is, the thing is, there isn't going to be enough damage to come get you immediately. Like, even if you, let's say you chase that Ash in the corner and you were like 50 HP when you killed her, you still have a thousand shield. Like, by the time, like, if they come back to come hurt you and come kill you, you just hold your shield and wait for your Ana or your Zen to heal you a little. You know what I mean? And you can slowly work your way back. You Did you snatch her wig? Yeah, I took her wig. I, I didn't even know what's going on. <laughs> Thanks, Sapphire, for the five gifties, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks thank so you, Emog, for the host. Thank you, Sorry Rodan, if I miss, if I miss any of you guys' subs, I'm sorry. I'll get them at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so you could have snatched the the, the the Ash's wig, no problem, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you want you want to hold W at that, because even if you chase into a bad situation, you can typically shield yourself out, you know? There's only times that you're not going to shield yourself out is if you if you go into AoE damage heroes, like Ryan and stuff. Like, that's tough yeah. to work your way out of. You They're all on the right side, and I should have, but I will say, I was like, I was in my head, I was like, Lucio, speed me, wait, we don't have one. Yeah. And but, I mean, you can let it roll full speed. It's, that was me not judging the distance between like how far I was from Ash. I probably can still outspeed and run into her just because uh, she'll be unless she has coach gun. Maybe she can get out. But yeah, I mean, honestly, Ryan now like, a lot of times actually isn't played with Lucio just because Ryan's not that good uh, at the moment on ladder. So if you play Ryan, you're typically wanting to be you're playing like some kind of weird defensive -y brawl. Like you're not playing like the full aggression, full W key kill things, you know? Um, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit different, you know, um, but, but this is, but that's honestly not terrible. Um, going in here is a death trap though. So it was a good recognize to not go in there, no matter what rank yeah. you're in. Yeah. I was like, I didn't want to wrap the corner into five people. So what did you just see? Pause. R watch, watch that back for five seconds. Watch what that back for five see? seconds. Good, tell good me what question. you saw. Okay. I see a, a from like when you, tur when you turned name. around, like, you know what I mean? Like when you turned around you were like, nope, I'm out of there. Just watch that one more time and tell me what you saw. Okay. I hit. I saw Zarya and I saw two on. the people. I see a Reinhardt come back. Just keep letting it roll. Don't pause. Don't pause. You got to see it in real time. I saw their bubble. Pause. Uh huh. Okay, so you saw their bubble. What does that mean? That means they don't have their bubble flats. No, that's not <laughs> what that means. Incorrect. <laughs> what that means is a Ryan player means that their Zarya cannot bail out their Ryan when you shatter him. That's right. I unless he blocks blocked, it. I get blocked by my shatters get blocked 90% of the time by either walls or Zarius. I I have not shattered into a shield in a long time. It's always the bubble. Or <laughs> oh, a wall. you're in for it. You're in for a goodie then if you haven't seen a shatter into a shield for a while. <laughs> because it's all timing. It's all timing. Like every Ryan has a tempo to them. That bubble yeah. means that you can uh, just go so aggressive on this run, but you can let it roll. We'll see how you do, because I know how this goes. <laughs> Roast chicken coming for your ass. That's Listen, they had window there. I didn't know what the, I just yeah, had to no, break this is it. fine. You're coming back, but you're, you're, the thing is you let them get so aggressive on you. You have shatter when they get ultra aggressive on you like that. You can, you can use shatter to, to fight them back. Like there's no problem yeah. with that. You end up getting the good shatter there, you know, mostly because uh, your great Ana slept the... Uh... What is this? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm making space. <laughs> we got the checkpoint, Flats. All right, reanalyze the situation. What do you think? 
I'll place in 75. Okay. Break it down for me here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to process what I just saw. Okay. okay. So you pin over to the honor. That's fine, right? Turn around and start swinging. You took way too long. You were about a cap, right? If we're about a cap right there, you get one swing on the Ana, she panics, and then you could shield up either A, when you're one HP outside, still with the team, or B, you die and you come back again. But just walking in and dying and she gets out for free and then the soldier's in your, in your back line, which by the way, you didn't keep track of. You saw him run that way and you didn't keep track of where he was on the map. So you said you were uh -huh. playing chess as Ana. Bull I think you're playing checkers because a chess master <laughs> would have remembered that their queen is in your back line. But instead, <laughs> you didn't. You were just like, oh, what's that piece? Oh, whatever. I guess he's gone now. You know, like. It, it just, it's no need to overanalyze it too much, but it's the very much difference in mentality and aggression and mindset. I will send it to the wall if I know I get to respawn in four seconds at the same spot, if I could trade a kill or two, you know? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so you can keep it rolling. That's just like, that's just something you do to get aggressive, you know? Like, you, you don't be afraid. Like, it, like, you know what I mean? Like, the worst, come, the worst thing that could happen there is their Ash killed three and tries to flip it. Well, guess what? Well, their their Ana and their soldier aren't killing you for free. They're going to be one HP, so they'll come back. That's true. I really that you're right. I should have hundred percent just. I should have just unsipped the juice right there. I should just. Oh, spit I, it I out. mean, you've got that glued to your face. <laughs> I just bitched out completely here. Yeah. <laughs> I had the kill here. I mean, Baptiste showed up, but still. I mean, you still want right, to go. I had, the kill. I, had I had the. Well, I had the kill outside, I guess, right? But listen, in my mind, I'm like, guys, I have I have three on me. Where's my team? We got the point. Didn't even keep track of the soldier either. SMH. Okay, so now you're gonna come okay. back from spawn. Okay, you, you go left. Door. I am. Yeah. Okay. This is hello. Pin. Pin out. Like I did. Ten years sooner. Ah. Uh -huh. See. I'm out. I'm you, out. You, you could have went I'm top. Here. You could have went up top. Now the reason you go up top, right? Like, the reason you go up top here even if your team isn't up there, is it gives you such a better idea of where everybody is at the beginning of the fight. And then you get hardcore uh, MTD'd right here. Nothing you can uh -huh. do about that. Uh -huh. But I would honestly have just went up top from the start. Like, coming down here and brawling at the end, that you know what I mean? That's money. That's easy. Like, yeah. But you have no idea what's going up top If right I now. went top first, then I could at least have the option to come down, mm -hmm. which is true. Mm -hmm. Your pathing is one of the most important things on, on tank. By far one of the most important things. Like... I thought you were going to teabag. I was going to say, damn. Okay. Uh, I wasn't that uh, toxic. Okay, so here's the thing. I actually don't understand how they got past you up here. You're you're like the world's worst bodyguard. Like, what are you doing? You're just going to let them walk out for free? I was looking at where everybody was on my team. You I'm like, am I here alone? You have 500 HP in a Zarya bubble. You should be on that door. You know why I needed you up top? Because I thought that you had the whole goddamn squad up there. You know why? Because you were the worst bodyguard ever. You should be one <laughs> HP when you come back. If you don't come back to me at one HP missing a leg, you didn't do your job. You have too much health. You are like, it's like you're afraid you're gonna break some nails. Get your hands dirty! Go! The Ash and the Zarya walked by for free! Free! Oh, okay, she's half HP! Oh my god, imagine if she was if she got a swing on her. She'd be one HP. Oh my god. Let her roll a little bit. Slow-mo. The auto walks up too? She misses her nade. Oh my god! And my oh my god, dude! She she just slip dart, sleep darted, and naded. You, I would hold you. I would hold W. Okay, sorry. I would hold W so hard on this Ana, and you ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna okay. be honest. I didn't know. Okay, you ran oh. away. That's terrible. Uh, but that's fine. You please tell me you at least kill her here, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're, you're swinging for the Rhine. You're swinging for the Rhine. You're not swinging for the two supports that are behind him. You're getting lost in the sauce and you're too scared. You hold S key. That's how we lost this fight. Oh my God. You see, if you didn't have to go for the swings on the Ana, you could have pinned the Rhine. You pin the Rhine, he dies. You pin the Rhine and he dies there. He dies. Because we win that fight. Oh my God. Oh my God. We actually could have won that fight. That Nana wasn't bad. It was winnable. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Roll that back, roll that back like 20 seconds and we'll do normal speed, okay? <laughs> this door, you hold this door, like you ever watched um, uh, Game of Thrones? You know who Hodor yeah. is? Hold, hold the door! Hold the f 
fucking door, not the hallway. His name isn't hold the hallway, it's Hodor. Now right here, pause, pause, pause. Go back like two to three seconds. Now, contrary to popular belief, you don't have to swing your screen to make the hammer go faster. Uh-huh. So, so slow it down in first person. Tell me why. This is third person. Oh, third person, sorry. Yeah. Tell me why, when you stand up, you swing your camera with, with your hammer as if uh -huh. you're trying to swing it faster. Now, uh, I'm standing level players, with him, but I was like, I'll be honest, I had no idea. I'm just, I'm, you're lost I'm, I'm, in the I'm sauce. Blind. You're not looking I'm for lost. targets. I'm just swinging. I'm a swinging. Look at this. That's it. She's, she's like, you know, they're honest right there going, <laughs> give me a trying kiss. to give you a kiss, and give you're just kiss. like, give no. Me a little kiss in my foot, in my little foot. She didn't want, she's trying to give you a little kiss, and you're straight up just like, no. <sighs> This is this is this is like I'm salivating looking at this right now. Like that's how great these kills look. These are the freest kills of all time. And you showing you hold ass right here. Watch this. You out and hold ass. Ah! I, I, I hate it here. Bat you hit the big slam, boom, right? Nice. Big slam, but you kill the bap with it. Guess what? If you had killed the Anna when she was kissing you, you could have walked up to this Rhine. Swung on him once and pinned him immediately. Oh, I, uh, and guess what? Uh, Look at his nano's over. Look at his HP. A pin would have killed him. A pin would have one thousand percent killed him. And you and you make fun of my Lucio rollouts. You're going, <laughs> you're going about four miles to the right and then getting on fucking some side street before you could have just took the highway all the way there. Go out the left door and pin out the door. It's not hard. It's a straight line. Turn you. <laughs> I was thinking if there was a better path, I was like, should I go top right? Okay, so here you're kind of like looking to engage somewhere, but like you're taking so long, dude. Like, I, make a decision. I, I could have sworn Wait. we weren't here yet. If Cat we, asks you where you want to go for dinner, how long does it take you to come up with an answer? All day. I'd be like, where do you want to eat? And then you <laughs> ask me where I want to eat. Decision, Cargill. <laughs> it took so long. We're going for sushi. I'm getting sushi right now. So then make that decision sooner, because this took years. Okay, They're get under the window. The get window under the window. Get under ass. the window. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you want to be under this, like, right? Like, when you play support, right? Like, you you want to not peek the window, right? If they have it, so you want to get under that, and then I can kind of heal you from up top. Slash, like, you know what I mean? At this point, like, you have to understand you're probably not going to get healed, right? Like, if the window's up, you kind of have to just like, you know what I mean? Like, if you watched it from my pr perspective before, over on Karki's channel, you saw that I couldn't really peek it, right? So as a tank player, I looked at that and I go, I, I'm not gonna get killed for a few seconds. And you play safe underneath, wait out the window and then go hard. Because if they drop on you and they, I, by the way, sorry, I, what the hell was that? Um, <laughs> they drop down on you, they're inside your, your team and you swing on them and you can kill them. Like they come into your house, your home, you know? So you kind of like, you want to LOS that a little bit. Yep. <sighs> but one of the most important things here is pathing, 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 pathing. So I think we go under here, which is really dumb. We should go up the stairs and walk into them, right? The reason we take this is the grab and the super nade. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think we would kill these guys if we didn't get those. So the nade's good. Oh, hang on, it's, you get a nano you. Yeah. Then, the, okay, then the grab and nade, right? Yeah. If we don't get the big nade, I don't know if they die there. Maybe, maybe not. It, it would be tough to say. The Rhine would probably die, but I don't know about the bat. <laughs> the bat, we have to see. But regardless, though, it's kind of like uh, it, the pathing is one of the most important things on tank. You know what I mean? Like you have to understand you want to get to the destination with taking the least amount of damage and put you in the best spot to do damage. So the low ground Larry just typically loses. Mm -hmm. um, that's why you want to be up on the high ground all the time. Okay, so I'm be honest with you. The second we cap that, I would have went up to this corner. I would have took this corner from them. Like you, I know it's like kind of weird. But it's like, you kind of have to have that alpha mentality of like, I'm going to go take certain points in the map that are strong. Like when you play support, right? Like certain parts of the map, your tanks always try to hold. That's because they're, they're strong spots. Like they own that spot now. Now you have to push all the way up and take the corner. I would have tried to take the corner first and make them take it from you, you know? So we have to fight our way up here. So we'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, Especially since nobody died when we took that point, you could take this very early and take a lot of space for free. Yeah. But like, 
Dude, I was just getting pelted. I don't yeah, know. I no, guess I was fine. just scared. So, but you see that wall right there? The retaining wall? The half one? If you're holding that corner, you're not taking any poke. You take no poke on that just wall. have to make it there first. But then this guy's going to be swing. I mean, I guess it just counters. Swing, swing you just swing back. If they swing on you, you swing back. It's the same thing. It. It's the same thing when when you, a Ryan is, is just free swinging on you and someone's like, oh, it's like, help, help, help. It happens very, very rarely to me because I constantly swing back. Even if my HP, HP hits one, I, you have to you have to swing back because if they're not getting pressured back they're they'll just swing for, for forever. They'll just roll. Yep. yep. I agree with that. So, all right. Now, listen, I know you might have saw that really briefly, but I did the um, tech. Did you? Oh, yeah. So remember part one? We were talking about the Zari bubble. You yes. might have got that. Actually, you might have gotten that if the Zari bubble wasn't there. Maybe. No, nah. maybe. No, nah, nah. probably not too close, but at least it would have been really, really close. You know, you you got that double blocked. I did. That one was a bit of a gamble. I just wanted, I think I was saying in chat, I'm just gonna try the tech just for fun. So that one was less calculated. That was more of like a hee hee, watch my new video kind of thing where we did the fast shatter thing. I mean, I, the fast shatter thing is actually, the fast shatter thing actually absolutely works. It just, uh, you, you gotta make sure like you have, it's the same thing in the mind games, you know? Like even if you got yeah, the shatter yeah, yeah. there, you, would've, you wouldn't have got the bubble. You know, you just have to check down certain things. But hey, I, yeah. I respect the effort. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, fire striking in front of a window. I'll be honest with you, dude. Uh, I yeah, mean, you, I mean, dead I, anyways, I think, but that's. I think we're dead anyways. Yeah, so I just, I, I it's just a that. typical rule of thumb. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't. I mean, they, they they grabbed and they windowed, and I was like, I mean, I think we're screwed either way. But I think, you're, yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't just randomly fire What's strike. This? Or just you're on a, just frag their Cree? Holy, shit. let's all go in quick. I think there's there's ended it. I don't know what you did there. Uh, I would pin. I would pin up to the cart. So you just took oh. all this time to walk up here. I'd pin to the cart. Two options, oh. right? Back up really quick. Really okay. Quick. Right here. Yeah, right here. Pause. Right. Go into third person. So there's two options yep. here. You pin to the cart. Then Ryan shatters you. You're safe behind the cart. Number two, you go to the cart. You have all that space for free, and it's very fast. So basically, mm. why would you do that? There's so kill. much time that we have to save. We just got a free pick. They don't have as much damage. We want to have as long as possible in the 5v6. So you take forever to walk up here. You're on a leisurely stroll. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking around. I'm just trying to get my game sense up. Like, all right, guys, are you guys falling behind me? All right, yep. cool. <laughs> they're, they're, they've already respawned. And your first swing is like, they're already coming out of spawn. So they nano there. We nano back. That's fine. They shut yeah, out your I team, but that's honestly fine. As long as you, that's one of those times you'd actually mirror the Rhine. So if the Rhine stepped past you and for the shield right there and their team backed away, that would actually be a time you you mirror the Rhine on the swings. So like, Ryan's, so right. Ryan's do this to me all the time. They'll try to go, if they don't get the shatter on me, cause like, I just, I, I'm ready for it too much. And then especially high level play, it's hard to, to shatter another Rhine unless it's on a prediction. So they'll go for the shatter on your team. There's yeah. two options. You mirror the Rhine and force him back, or you go for the teammates trying to get too aggressive, right? With Nano. Right. Uh, so he shattered us and I just did what he did by walking into them and I forced right. But like, them back. Right here. when you turn this corner and you realize they're not coming, then I would turn to the right. Like I would then turn for him. You know what I'm saying? Like I would go around the front of this cart and pin him. Like right here. You see this angle? Like the yeah. second I recognize that, like look, he's not even looking at you. You would have the yep. freest pin of all ye all time to turn around and kill him. And I yep. think you'll still end up getting the kill because we have the Discord on him. But like the speed of killing, and plus if he put his shield back up, realizing he was being pressured, he might have escaped. So like those 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 instant like recognize like okay they're leaving, I kill the ride now. Versus they're pushing hard, let me kill them instead. Because if they all pushed up there on the shatter, mm -hmm. you would have just two tapped their whole team. You know what I mean? But instead yeah, they turned they around. Didn't. They turned around because our tracer actually pressured them and pulled mm -hmm. two people back. Mm -hmm. But this was me. So the reason why it looked like I was about to do it, but this was mostly me just checking if my team got shattered behind me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, they're fucked. So I said, fuck it. I'm <laughs> leaving you. And I just went back forward. But I probably, this is where I totally should is This is one of those times you turn around and you just, you just, they're riding. Just, just, they're riding. And like, you'll be good. In my mind, I was like, both they have Anna Bap. If I just shield this, they can't heal the Rhine, and I pray my team can kill him. But it probably would have worked just by focusing him as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I don't think I doubt they would have outhealed if you pinned him with Nano. Nano pin. Yeah, exactly. His his, his Nano would have ran out by the end of the pin. You have Discord. He would have just exploded. You know what I mean? There's already also just fell down, and you didn't notice that. Roll that back. That's actually <laughs> really not. important. That's actually really important info that we didn't get passed along. Yeah, no, no, from your point of view, I want to see. Oh, he died. Okay. 
Yeah, he got killed by the tracer. Our oh, tracer yeah, he fell down here, out. and then our tracer figured it out. Our tracer figured okay. it out, but yeah, it's very it's very interesting to watch your POV. Can we watch your POV? I don't want to watch third point person. It doesn't help me. Uh, because if I saw uh, a, a Zarya try to drop and get out, that's the first thing I'm looking at. Because this choke, you can't walk through this like this. Like you are. Yeah. I, I hope you know that at this point, you have now become useless for the rest of the game. Like you are now AFK. That's I'm it. just I'm just point pressure because they just have long range. Mm -hmm. so, would you ever at this point if I see Ryan died and Zarya there? Would you would you pin here? Like just oh absolutely oh, no pin. No, the only way I go through here is if it's a if it's a six v two. Six v two. That would be the that would be the time uh, yeah. to go through here. That's when I realized I'm like, hey, what do I do here? I just hold my shield up for you them. You could walk I'm through just... further and hold shield like on this corner. Yeah. You could like right in front of you right there, but their Krieg rotated high ground and yeah, he's he's up there already. So the number one thing for you is to play. Yeah, you play underneath there. You play underneath that spot, and sw and just swing on the Winston. That's it. And the what reason why the I went for the Kree is because that. Remember when the Kree flanked you guys? This is the play where he just flanked us, yeah, and then he killed he high two. Mood. Yeah, that's how I that's how I killed him. But anyways, I was just trying to like hold my space here in the front, and then yeah. You yeah, but guys, shielding, uh, holding space does nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Like you might as I'm well not even exist. It's why Arissa is so good, and why people play double shield. It's because like. Yeah. If you're sitting there shielding, you're not doing anything. You're just AFK. So, like, the swinging and killing the Kree is good, but, like, sooner and killing, like, forcing the Winston. Like, the Kree pulls a, a brain dead, like, you know what I mean? Like, full full juice, sprint to the back line and go for kills, and he got two. That's just, <laughs> there's nothing you're doing about that. That's unlucky. You know what I mean? Like, you, you as a player did nothing wrong there. But what you could have done has been more proactive ahead of time. Start forcing the Winston out. Winston out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do something. Like, do your job. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. The Winston jumped to my right, and I was like, oh, I want to back up to the right. Yeah, like, always backing left. up and, and shielding, I... that doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Like, you're, 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 you're trying to do... You're trying to observe too many things at once. Yeah. I, think, I, think I don't know already, what the fuck was happening yeah, there. No, it's already kind of GR at that point. The only thing I would have okay. done is maybe try to kill the soldier instead. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Like once you shattered everybody, you go for the soldier. Okay, so this is this is the interesting part. So you said you don't play aggressive because I'm up top, but actually, I want you to show this. Go a little bit. A third person, really quick. Third person or first? This is fine. Okay. I looked at my team. I'm like, are we playing close, guys? So uh, I was like, okay. okay. Now you can pause. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, you yeah. can go third person. Okay. So normal, you would actually hold up by this car, the first one. Because you'd want to, yes, you would want to deny their space. You Walking have out. a may, right? I'm talking full on hold the door type of thing, right? And you would hold this door to try to keep their run from coming out. So, if, and can you back up like three seconds and do it again? Just from, look at the door. Okay, watch how their team walks out. Slow mo, if you don't mind. So stacked. They're all stacked, right? And oh, actually, the BAP's a little late. The BAP's late because he was AFK. Normally, they'd walk out all at the same time. You know what that is? That's a free four or five man fire strike slash swing. It's so easy. Uh, like, you get so much ult charge and they all freak. Now, the thing you're going to be scared of is getting Maywalled. But if in, in a good situation and practicing good habits, you'd want to be further up. Your May's not yeah. playing further up. But again, we're playing in plat. So like you would yeah. also have to assume that their may, if they had one, would be much slower on the wall. Um you say you don't want to play up because of the, the sight lines, but actually you can kind of see you from that car. You can. You're right. So I, I could have the held far there. Corner I, I is, you're right. You're right. You wouldn't want to go to the far corner. But if they're in that far far corner and the option is to push, they typically have lost the fight because nobody plays in that corner. Um, unless it's an L. So we can go back to your POV and, and go again. Yeah, I don't. Um, I honestly, <laughs> I won't go up here because when I play Baptiste, I jump up here all the time. So yeah. my brain was like, I'm just gonna chill up here, and then I know I just realized my Ryan's do he hold here when we hold close, and I'm the one sitting here as Bap. Yeah, and if I'm Anna, I'm usually in here. Or go back to your I'm POV. Go back to your POV. Yeah. So you wanna, it, it, you wanna in, a, in a, another scenario if that's like, like you lost that corner, you play right here, right? Like just how you are. 
Just play this. Like, okay. You can do this normal speed, because I know how fast you die, so it's not really that much. <laughs> um, you just hold right here and just... Yeah, you kind of get MTD. You just let them take too much space on you. They play too aggressive. You're not swinging. Like, you're sitting there shielding. Like, if you're sitting there swinging the entire time, that Ryan has to push into you while you're swinging. And actually... Because Ryan's hammer has a slight boop mechanic, you might actually fuck up his, his charge just a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, little giving you boop. enough space. Huh? Yeah, the slight boop on it. You yeah, mean, right? the slight boop. Well, you, you just got stuck on that cart. I just saw that. Um, yeah. It's just like you're kind of, you're just kind of like there's no other way of saying it. You're kind of just getting alpha. You know what I mean? Like even on that corner right there, you saw that Ryan was was slept and you're, you're too busy trying to go high ground to look for another thing like instead of taking the fight to them somehow, you know? Like, we can we can go top and rotate onto them, sure, but we don't have Lucio. So, not having Lucio means we can't really speed out to them on there anyways, and we have May. So you want to be capitalizing on walls, you want to be capitalizing on aggression, you want to be the first person in, you know? So, like, okay. right here, seeing him slept, you, I would be just walking at him full speed. And if the, if the Bastion comes around the corner, the Bastion comes around the corner and you back around it. But that also means he has to set up and be by himself, and he's in easy shots for our DPS then. Just keep it rolling. Okay. So there is, yeah. So I got it bitched out because I just got L alpha and I just was not alpha enough because I you saw Bastion. You've been getting alpha the entire game. Okay. It was only here. Come on now. <laughs> what do you mean? I just want you to watch you get pinned and spawn. Good, so that was a good fire strike. You're playing through the I'm window. I'm walking in front. I'd go pin this Bastion. Yeah. To be honest with you. Like, you sit there and you took way too much damage from him over time. Honestly, if you walk up to a Bastion and you have 500 HP and you start the pin, you will kill him. Like, he doesn't have yeah, enough yeah. time. So, yeah, like, kind of scared of this Bastion, too. And you don't time his shots. So when he shoots, he goes... Yeah. So in between those shots, you can swing on him <clears throat> once. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the, the the number one thing that you're not doing... Well, like, honestly, your positioning is not terrible. Like, it's actually, like... you want, like I mean, you play high level. You understand. What you don't understand is aggression mitigation. Because you don't... You don't play aggressive at all back into them. You know what I mean? And that's why I think main tank's the hardest role in the game. And also a completely different game than everything else. Because... It's so different. You want... You, there's so many times where you have to be playing by the edge. You know what I mean? Like... Like, the edge of your health. Like... Like, where you just push it to the absolute limit. You know what I mean? And you'll die a lot of times, but you'll learn where your limits become, you know? It's so much easier to rewatch it, and, and I can see all my positional mistakes based on where they are. If I can see the whole battlefield and know where everyone is, then I can see it. But That's when why you're I keep in trying to have you watch person... your POV, because you're not going to learn from up top. You're only going to learn from the front, because if you watch from up top, it's so easy. But, like, you it's need so to realize easy. it in real time. That's why and, I yeah, don't really like the, the overhead shots, because the overhead shots are just kind of, like... They're easy to point out the things, but in real time, I can point out the same things because I yeah. know where they are. Like, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, like you said before, knowing what's behind you is super important and it's okay to turn and check, but you need to know when to turn and check. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, like turning and checking is at the beginning of the fight walking in. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, like you have to assume that the fight is fully progressed and everybody's doing their job and you just got to trust. So in this situation, I knew Reaper swing on that Reaper was no. plucking at me, swing but I saw Reaper. both their supports. So in my no. brain, I was like, I'll no. block the heals. Damage will over damage trumps heals. Yeah. Oh, I always add in the damage. And plus your body is part of the shield. So if that's really what you're afraid of, stand in front of him and swing. Yeah. Because your your face. You yeah, know my, I mean? my face will block the yep. heal. You're right, you're right. So, I'm just trying to build shatter here. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to play that close though. You want to play this corner. You're a little too far up still. You want to play. You want to play like with natural cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right here. There. That right thing. here. Beautiful. You have two pieces actually. You have the cart. You have three. You have the car, the cart, and that blue thing. There's so much cover here. This is free low. This is why we held so long. I'm pretty sure. Um, because it's hard to push you out. So you have free shatter. They just use bubble. He's on top of the cart. Free shatter. I think you had a video about that, didn't you? Yeah. So you can chatter over it, but I thought I saw the anti and I was like, I'm just going to swing into a kill him. But then the lamp was around no, back the corner. Up, back up before that. I'll show you. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll play a bit a slower, further. a little further right here. Okay, okay. This is when they're coming up. Yep. Okay. So this is with a bubble. I'll tell you when to pause. Ready for it right now. Now you need to start looking. Now you don't have to right here, but you start looking because their Ryan's an idiot right here. Oh, my God. Look at look at pause. Oh, I, I, right there. Look at how free well, the main wall goes up. But if, if you had started it like. If you started the second that Ryan starts to go all the way up, you know what I mean? You probably would have slipped it through. Right here. Right. 
Well, here. I, I would have already started to drop it. It already would be coming down. Yeah, my 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 brain is. was not like I have the zero Ryan instinct to do that. No experience on the hero to recognize this mm -hmm. specific scenario right there. Mm -hmm. It's free though. It's like, I see it. I can totally see it right now rewatching it. But like in mm -hmm. that moment, I just was not. I could not even tell you. I, that was the last thing on my mind. Let me show you part looking two. at this positioning. So the May wall comes up. Pin right here. The second that wall comes up, you pin. Mm, because yeah, the true. worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get counterpinned. The best thing that's going to happen is you're going to pin him into the wall. And he's going to die. I would have pinned the, I guess, the Zarya bubble. Well, I guess it would have popped already. It already popped. You're, you're yeah. taking time to shield and reevaluate the fight. You gotta have, you got to be confident and just go for it. Because now uh -huh. you start going for the swings and the lamp's out. The lamp probably... I don't think the lamp would have came out in time if you pinned right away. Yeah. I think you would have yeah. killed him. Um, yeah. That's a timing thing. But then after... Uh, the only thing right there is I would have stepped through and tried to kill the lamp with your swings. So you see, if you watch back like another like two seconds, you 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 kind of like walk backwards as you swing the first couple right there. You see it like you're kind of walking backwards. You can even go back. You can even go back like another like two seconds just to like fully show it. I feel like they were kind of like body blocking. I mean, you, I mean you pushed them out of the way. Like you you absolutely back up like back up like five seconds. You'll see. So the lamp even further, even further. I want to see the lamp like just barely come out. Okay. Yep. Ready. Okay, so the wall's up. Anyone comes up. Should be still swinging during all of this. You're pretty much full HP. Yeah, because right literally, here. you're totally right. As you should soon be going as also straight for the lamp. And while he's holding high noon, I know he can't drop his shield. Like he's fucking. They're all panicking. Mm -hmm. So I probably should have just went aggressive right there. Mm -hmm. Full full aggression, push and they're kind of body blocking. You're right, but you're also Reinhardt. You can push people out of your way. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and also Fire Strike too. Fire Strike gets a half HP immediately. So like, you kill that lamp pretty fast. The lamp dies right there. Their Zarya should die from that swing, but you <gasps> you canceled your swing. You didn't finish it. Yeah, I missed time that. Canceled your swing. Yeah, right there. I mean, that was an extra swing into a bubble, but well, in, in general, Zarya's though, one. You if you see her, if you step yes. into the Rhine and swing on him, you probably kill him or fire yeah. strike. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that Rhine doesn't like have shatter or he's like, you know what I mean? He hasn't been playing to the point where he'll have it. So then you just you fire strike through it. Like, just go for that extra aggression damage, you know? Mm -hmm. So step one would have been to kill Zarya earlier off the pin on the wall. OK, options gone now. And mm -hmm. then the next one was to go lamp. And then third was to just keep. W mm -hmm. and, and then W King, W King through their tanks because their tank. When you get their tanks that low, they have to put all their resources into them. Do not yeah. let go of the gas pedal. The gas pedal oh needs to be pressed. Oh my god, that's three missed opportunities right there. Technically four <laughs> if you count the uh, the shatter, but we won't count that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so this is where the windows come up, and to be honest with you, you kind of just you got you got fire strikes with all three of us. We all got fire strikes, so like there's not much we can say yeah. about that. That's just. That happens was before before that window. This should have been over already. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's the biggest takeaway. Yeah, it's true, but it's okay. It's not okay, flats. We're in fucking platinum. Well, I oh, guarantee after this, I guarantee you do better after this. I promise. Uh -huh. Now you see a lot of these things because I'll do better too with like after seeing a lot of it. So pause right here. So this is this is the feed. This is this That's is a feed and a half. Okay? Feed. That, so I have nothing to say here. Go you lay so, it out for me here. So lay think about you think about your positioning here, right? You almost never hold W past this corner unless you see an opportunity. There was no oh. opportunities. There's a Reaper on your left. There's an Ana and Bap further away, and it's just their tanks. The only thing that creates an opportunity here is if you shatter them. That's it. Like. You need to create an opportunity to fight them here because they're in too much, too good of a position. And in, if you if you push, your supports can't see you. Your DPS can barely follow up, etc. So you need to create an opportunity or wait. So I would just, you know, you can run it slowly if you want. It's just, it's this is more of like a swing and you kind of mid fight type of thing. Like you're going for the kill. Like you get almost got the Zarya there, but you have to recognize like immediately, like you got to back up. Like because you are taking so much damage the second you get too aggressive there. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. have to realize that when you're when you're retaking a fight and you're not six v six yet, because you're I think you're only four v six, you yeah. have to understand that certain parts of the map are really strong to hold. And the reason you go up there and hold that is because you don't want them to have it. So you sitting there and holding it and waiting and playing slow, even if you win that fight, right? Like let's say you actually kill them. Let's say some magic universe you just two tap both of them, right? 
Right. Where's the cart? It's in their spawn. You know what in I mean? The spawn. They haven't moved it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's no win there yet. So like you risk too much. You risk good positioning. Okay, pause for a sec. Just because I was still in the same thought. You risk too much positioning and you risk risk too much aggression for very little gain. Now the retake. This Reaper sitting here should be a a fucking massive red flag that something's coming. And also, you could you could keep playing it. I will, I'll try to show you as many things as I can in real time. This is a massive red flag, but I do like that you swung on him, but you stopped swinging on him. That's what it kind of you know. This means they're grav. Grav's coming. Yeah. Uh huh. So they don't in actually my mind, have grav though. So they don't actually have grav. Jump shatter. That's fine. But you know they have it. Oof. So, pause for a sec. Like run it back like slowly, if you want. Okay. Okay. So basically, what this fight happened, their Zarya looked like she was going for grab and f***ed up. Like she didn't have grab. Yep. When a Zarya does that and looks oh like she's God. going for a grab, there's two options, right? In any situation, you have the option to sit there and shield her to try to eat the grab like just on your shield. But in yeah. this case, the reason that doesn't work is you're so bunched up no matter what, she'd get a huge grab on it. You know what I mean? Right. Number two is the second her bubble finishes, you get aggressive. Now, but here's the trump card. Their Ryan comes up and sits there holding shield. Most Ryans after a shatter will counter shatter. The reason for that is because a lot of especially low ranked Ryans are very much programmed to shatter and pin immediately. So even if they miss the shatter, they already drop their shield looking for the pin or they're thinking about doing the pin and they all of a sudden get hit with the counter shatter. That's just it's honestly it's a weird player psychology that's why people typically ult in response to other ults even when they're not needed the problem here though is their zarya is so low and you're getting aggressive their ryan sitting there and holding shield and not getting aggressive on you when he's been aggressive the whole game means he's looking for shatter that's one of the telltale signs if a ryan sits there and holds shield and looks weird when he's doing it he has shatter 99 percent of the time it's the most telltale side because you know when you do you know how when you're looking and analyzing the situation, you hold shield and you look around? Mm -hmm. They do the same thing for Shatter. That's why mm -hmm. good Ryans never do it, or they try not to. So what you do there is you te they are telegraphing it to you. You missed the read. Did you? And, and we watched it from my POV, right? Like, go to my POV really quick. Yeah, you had the Ryan instinct where you just like, I watch it. Do like, it. It, it. I go, wait for it. I see this Ryan do this. I go, yep, goodbye. <laughs> and I even tried to sleep dart him to try to like help because because you saw it coming. I, when he stands there just menacingly at the door, I just like uh oh, like so, here we go, like we're going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship, you know? And come yeah. on, you know what I mean? So it's like there is a psychology to it, you know what I mean? Like I, it, I'll be honest, I zero read on that Reinhardt. I didn't even know the Rhine was there. You know what I was thinking? In my brain, in this exact moment. Yeah. I saw I want to force him out. I just thought one swing would make him panic, but he decided to stay a bit longer. And then I see Zarya do this. I think she's about to grab, so I was holding my shield and mm -hmm. try to eat eat it, like you said. Yeah. But I was not I I was like since I'm so new to Reinhardt and I haven't played him in the years, mm -hmm. I was zero alt tracking my brain. I didn't know if she had it or not. Like if I was playing support, I would have known she grabbed previous fight because so like, I could the catch. focus on alt tracking. You didn't even yeah. know she had grab or not because Look at the room you're in. No matter what, she's going to get a big grab if they're stacked on you. So you just yeah. start swinging on the Zarya. Just start mm. swinging and going for her. You know, like there's, an exa there's a good example. Like today, I had a game where me and Emong were 2v2ing on the rest of the point. And their Zarya oh. was doing that to try to like win the fight. She almost had grabs. She was going for the kill because both of our, all of our team was dead. And all I did was just keep the shield in front of Emong. Just keep walking in a circle. So he couldn't, he couldn't get, build the charge. He couldn't kill him. But in this situation, it's the beginning of the fight. She's super aggressive, even if she has grav, right? Even if she has grav, she's going to use it no matter what, and it's going to get people. So in a small room situation like this, it's almost better to try to burst her and blow her up and at least get the trade than just sit there and AFK shield. Does that make sense? That makes sense. That's like a that's like a map position. That's what I'll do next thing. time. That's like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like in small rooms like that, like, you know, like, like for example, we were going through like King's Row, like hotel, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. If the Zarya came in like that, you would just swing on her immediately. Like, because we're going to get grabbed no matter what. So just, just yeah. try to kill her. You know what I mean? Just try to kill her or at least make her. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That's the right. Yeah, that's correct.
Yeah, you can go it's now. Just, in my in yeah. my brain here, I'll just explain my thought process. I thought she had it, but you're right. Like no matter what, I would have gotten a grab. But in my yep. brain at this time, I was like, I'm gonna try to block it. Mm -hmm. I see her. Bubble. I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah. I and see her bubble. I'm like, holy. I see the bubble. I'm about to shatter as soon as this bubble's over. Yep. And I'm gonna also not jump gonna shatter, lie, by the way. I did not notice their Ryan came up. Would it have been a dumb shatter? No, you like, jumped. If this Ryan didn't. Yeah, I jumped, which is a mistake. But I mean, he would have blocked it anyways. But like, yeah. I actually, to be honest, in that situation, I remember I didn't see the Ryan. I thought Zarya just fed up. So I just mm -hmm. wanted to shatter her as soon as the bubble was over, mm -hmm. which is why it looks bad. But this jump stalled it a little bit. <laughs> You could also, okay. if you wanted to, this is something I do, is I try to chart, I try to time my shatters more than anything. I time them especially off enemy Reinhardt's, and that's when people go, Whoa, Fuss is so lucky. He just, he was, he, the Reinhardt dropped his shield when he shattered, he would have shattered his shield. No, stupid. Like, that's, that's literally the timing. <laughs> like, I'm literally timing for that to happen. Like, like, hello? But, like, Zarya Bubble's the same thing, is if the Zarya Bubble's cracking, like, I, I can't even you tell you how many times I've, sh it. I've shattered a Zarya bubble, but I can't also tell you how many times I've killed a Zarya or I've knocked a Zarya down literally the exact time her bubble finishes. Bubble breaks. And it yeah. surprises the sh out of everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that means I could have actually tethered. Like, soon, if, if I was like literally timing it now without jumping right now, mm -hmm. maybe I catch up the tail end of it before. I don't, know if, I, goes yeah, I don't know if you get it here, but it's something that it's definitely a yeah. good skill to have. Yeah, that's a Ryan skill. Yep. Comes with experience. Timing. Yep. That's a big one. Timing okay. is huge. You know, because mechanically it's not that tough. It's really not that tough. You're just pressing shatter. It's all timing. It yeah. is. I'll be honest, I didn't know what to do here. So I was like, do I move hold past close. forward? We hold close. We hold down below. We're all as a team. We all died. So we we want to hold down at that corner. You know what I'm talking about? Where that Ryan is like right now, you hold that corner. Yes. Because, yeah, I was gonna say, did we start pushing into this? Yes, because yeah. you'd want to keep their team bundled up in that corner, like where they are right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. giving them this whole area to look work with is gonna destroy your shield. Yep. Then he also <laughs> backed up too, so I'm like, all right, we'll just play this area, I guess. You set the tempo though. Brain. If they back up yeah. and you hold W, that's on them. Like you send the tempo. You know what I mean? Like if you're yep. calming, like let's hold W, let's go up here, and they don't come with you, that's on them. Like, if they want, if they end up going with the, f I didn't want to do that. Well, then you should have said something. You know what I mean? Like, and that's why, like, sometimes, like, I bash heads with people on ladder is like someone who, who doesn't say anything the entire game, it, it wants me to read your mind. Like, that's not gonna happen. I play my game, and if you want to play yeah. a different way, I'll, I'm more than happy to adapt. But you have to understand, like, you need to have your own, like, your own plan from the start. Because if you don't have any plan, well, you're just dead. Like right here, what's your plan? You're dead. <laughs> I have no plan here. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no plan. Yeah. But yeah, that's right. Like, it's you're not a mind reader. That's right. So, so you said the tempo. Always. Yeah. I got anteed, but then you nanoed me and I got bubbles. So I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I can get healed again. Yep. This is good. So I hit him. I probably now, didn't need to Now, right that. here, this is where you go back. You go back to your team. You go back to your team. Your nano's over, right? Your Their nano's still up. This is where I would hard shield because only the Ryan's gonna hurt you. You hard shield and you try to get some assistance. And you do that at first, and then you hit the jets. Because what are the two options here? You pin the Ryan into the wall and then he kills you, or you don't yeah. pin the Ryan into the wall and you, they kill you. You know what I mean? Mm. Like once you get the two picks, you're like, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. You know what I mean? And like, and you back out of that, like. <laughs> but that was actually a good play. It's just it's just the staying alive part after. That's the tough part. Yeah. Yeah. I got greedy. Yep. To say the least. But, yeah. but it was a good play, though. It was a good read on the nano. It was a good read on the bubble. It was a good shatter. Those are all, like, really important parts of the process. Did you just block shatter there? No, you didn't. No. Yes. Block that one, though. That one, I think that's one when I was getting pressured, yeah. So you, there's nothing you can do about that one. You I had no, you had no heals. Yeah, you, yeah, no heals It was kind of too late at that point. Like, that's that's one of those rare fights that you did everything you can. You know what I mean? Like, as a tank player, like, you did all you could. Like, your supports just died, you know? And that's that's because yeah. we watched it from my POV. Like, I got pressured. I, I died. Our BAP got yeah. pressured. You, died, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, like, a one good fight right there. If you could do that, like, think of it this way. If you did that every single time, if your supports would have to die like 20 times a game, you know what I mean? To like, to eventually lose. You can get away with your supports losing four, five, six, seven battles a game. But any, you know what I mean? Like, but if that's if you're winning every battle on the tank battle, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why people always yeah. say like, oh, tank diff's well, so big. Consistency. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna always, you wanna always try to be winning that battle. And if you win that battle, then yeah, you lost that fight, but you'll win the next one, you know? 
Yeah. But if you're if you're losing fights up front really fast, it's tough. It's tough. The whole team is on the back foot if I die first mm -hmm. as a main tank. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. So what do you think? I think my brain just expanded by a thousand <laughs> watching that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got smarter. Oh. I got smarter. Nice. Best roast in the history of roasts. It was half. Listen, chat. It was half roasty, half educational. Well, I mean, this that was is pretty the, good. This is I the got one a lot good out one. of it. This is the one time where I can be like, okay, this is what you need to do. But now next time, I already taught you everything you need to know. If you f it up, you're just an idiot. Okay. This is a, <laughs> this is a part. This is a uh, continual series. We will continue to play this. Yeah. And uh, get better. Then we just go revisit X amount of time later. Be like round two. See what improved, what changed. Yep. Huh? Is that good content, chat? We see what we... We pointed out for each other today, and then we we go again after uh, a few yep. more games of experience on it. We literally just played. This is my first day of playing Ryan in like four years, and I never even played him correctly four years ago. Yeah, I was just yeah, able to get away with did. murder. It was pre-roll queue. I was able to get away with anything with goats. I never actually played Ryan and goats. It was like even before that. It was like season three. Oh God.